News happening here in Louisville today. You may know our other top story. The Metro Police Department has a brand new police chief, Mayor Fisher, naming Erica Shields from Atlanta as, quote, the honest, accountable, transparent leader that Louisville residents wanted. Louisville and LMPD have the opportunity to get this right and to create a model for other cities to follow. Now, we've got full team coverage for you of today's big announcement. What happens at 10 a.m. this morning? We begin with Sanait Gabrigagadis. She's joining us live tonight. When she steps into her new role in a few weeks, Chief Erica Shields will no doubt face challenges because she's about to lead a city that has dealt with months of racial injustice protests and a record number of homicides. But she says her track record should speak for itself, pointing to her police department in Atlanta, where she has worked with majority black police officers and under the leadership of black mayors and police chiefs. And therefore, she says she understands the problems that go along with institutional racism. Did our teacher, he just caught it in midair. Really? Getting to know the community she will now serve. All right. <laughs> come on, come on. You got it. New police chief Erica Shields says Louisville was the only city she was interested in. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. To lead as the top cop. I understand that there is much healing to do across the country and here in Louisville. Her goals include bringing morale back to the police department, curbing the gun violence and improving police and community relations, something that's been hard to bridge after law enforcement shootings of Brianna Taylor and David McAtee. Brianna Taylor was at home in her apartment and she ends up dead. And it's like that didn't have to happen. And I, I if imagine let's and this is where it's race reckoning. This doesn't happen to white people. A message we haven't heard from police leadership in Louisville since the shootings occurred. Chief Shields shared what she wants to see change. If you're going to police fairly and equitably, your practices have to be consistent and your standards have to be consistent regardless of the neighborhood. For WHS 11 News, I'm Sanite Gabrigadigas.